Let's cross live now to Kensington Gardens where one of the final events is taking place for London Men's Fashion Week. Jessica King is down there and has been speaking to all of the stars, haven't you, Jessica? I've had all the luck today, Anthony. I've been speaking to all the stars. It's been great. And as you can see behind me, the Burberry Porsome Show, which is really the highlight uh, of this four-day event, has just ended. So the crowds are pouring out. They're quaffing their champagne. The bands are playing. Everyone is in very good spirits uh, for this event. And as I said, it's the last day, but all across uh, the last four days and today, we've seen lots of emerging designers as well as established names like Tom Ford, Paul Smith. And obviously, Burberry was really uh, a very big draw for lots of celebrities here today and earlier on I spoke to British actor Sam Coughlin. Well I think the fact that they are able to kind of harness the classics, the uh, the simple, the simplicity of fashion but at the same time put a nice sort of contemporary twist on it. Um, you know I, I think they're sort of bare minimal basics um, of fashion, they do the best. They have the best quality, the best sort of style and the fit is always sort of one that kind of uh, complements I think um, and I think Christopher Bailey's vision generally, he's not afraid of taking risks um, but at the same time he kind of knows what he does well and does it, continues to do it well so um, yeah. London is really at the forefront of men's fashion. Why do you think that is and why do you think um, people love the way that British men dress? We're the old traditional gents, I think. Uh, we, we are the gentrified. We are old-fashioned, uh, I think, in our ways. And uh, again, I, I don't think we kind of try to go too, too extreme with our fashion. We kind of not play it safe, but I think the reason it's sort of popular is because it's not broken um, and I don't think we push boundaries too far uh, at the same time what we do do is kind of like I say I, I think we harness an idea and we basically cherish and, and, and the passion for those simple looks is what we do well I think, I think. And who is your fashion icon? You can say a man or a woman but you can't say Christopher Bailey <laughs> Oh no um, I am I kind of love Jude Law. Um, I, I, I feel that he he loves his double-breasted jackets, and he, uh, again, he dresses so well um, that you, I can't help but take note. Um, so I'd probably say Jude Law. Sam Caffin, there, British actor, talking to me a bit earlier. And there are lots of very well-dressed traditional gents around here, and it really is turning into a bit of a party down here in Kensington Gardens. Uh, but there is a very serious side to this fashion show because it really does showcase lots of emerging and new British talent, and especially lots of Londoners who have studied here in the capital. Now, it started in 2012, and the number of designers has grown from 46 to 77, showcasing their work here over the past four days. And globally, menswear is growing even faster than women's wear, so I'm sure it's going to be an event uh, that will garner a lot more interest uh, in the years to come. Okay, Jessica King there in Kensington Gardens for us this lunchtime.